Hey guys, it's Hack Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to get Nitrous, aka NOS, on your cars in GTA 5 online. This works with any car, but I suggest doing it with a car that's not hot or too expensive, so that you don't have to do a whole entire extra glitch that doesn't really work that much anymore. So anyway, I'm going to be using the Sultan RS because I love that car, and it doesn't cost too much, so you can just put it straight into your garage and insure it. <clears throat> so here are the files you're going to need to download, and they are in the description. It's in, a, uh, it's in a RAR file, so once you download the file, it should look like this. And just go ahead and extract the files. Click OK. You could delete the RAR file. And open this up. You should have these two files. Uh, right here is a, a program called the Save Editor for GTA 5 and here is the a NOS car which you can change to whatever car you'd like by default it's a Sabre Turbo but, you, but I'm gonna be changing it to a Sultan and that's not hard at all alright so let's go over to my PS3 Ugh, dang it sorry alright okay so as you can see, I'm on PS3 right now. You gotta take a USB and plug it in there into your PS3. Alright. And go ahead and click on Save Data Utility. Go find where it says Grand Theft Auto. Not profile, but the where it says auto save and the name of the mission and how much percent. As you can see, I have barely started the game on this account. I have more on the other account, but it doesn't matter. You literally, uh, all you need is literally to do the prologue mission. You don't really need to do anything else, and this will work even if you haven't even completed story mode. So, uh, just go ahead and copy this to the USB. I already have it on my USB, so it's going to say to re replace it. If you don't have it, then it's not going to say this. Okay, so the copy is completed. Um, Alright, now uh, plug the uh, USB into your computer. You don't have to open the files. So, open up the folder that you downloaded and click on GTA 5 right here. This is the save editor. Okay, so here it is. It's loaded up. Uh, okay, so now you just gotta click open file and scroll down to your USB click on PS3 save data and click on something that looks like this you might see uh, other files if you have ever saved different things like these are two different Call of Duty files but it should say GTA 5 within there so just click on that Th this video is for either PS3 or Xbox 360 so if you're one of my subscribers that's on 360 Luckily, this tutorial will work for you, too. So basically, if you are on PS3 like me, you're going to change this to PS3 Rage. Click on the Rage file and click Open. You can make a backup. I don't really need to, so no. By the way, I am sick, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds really weird and if I, uh, uh, you know, cough or anything. Okay, so here is the save editor, and you can see your story mode. If you're really low on money and stuff, and you need more, this is also a great place to do that. You just click on max, and it gives you the maximum amount of money you could possibly get, which is 2 billion something, or 200 billion something. Uh, but anyway, I don't need that right now. That's not exactly part of this tutorial, so what you got to do is click on garage 
to go into Franklin's garage or whatever character you're using. Okay, so it should load up. Okay, so if you have any cars in your garage, you should see them. I already did this glitch before, so I already have the Nitrous Sultan in there, but I'm still going to be replacing it either way. So how do you do this? Well, you'll have four slots right here. Those are going to be your four cars. So I'll replace the Sultan with a new Sultan. So now what you're going to do is click this file right here, or this uh, logo that says Replace Vehicle, and go back into that folder <coughs> on your desktop or wherever you saved it. Click on saberturbo.gtavv and open it. So this is, it should say uh, whatever car you had was replaced with the Saber Turbo and click OK. So now you should see this. The Saber Turbo has nitrous on it or a NOS, whatever you like to call it. From here, you can basically edit it however you would like. I'm going to change the license plate to Hello YouTube. Alright, that's that should be fine. And it's also pretty cool because the license plate will be uh, a North Yankton license plate. So, it'll, it's exclusive. <clears throat> so, now you're here, you could change it to any card you would like in the whole entire game. That's a lot of cars, uh, but I'm going to be using the Sultan. Again, I suggest using a car that doesn't cost so much so you can just save it straight to your garage. Okay, so here's the Sultan and it has nitrous on it right now. You can edit it right here if you would like. But I'm just going to save it like this. Okay. So now that you have that all done, you just have to click Save File. It should say, save was saved successfully. Click OK on that. Now you can go ahead and take the USB out of your computer. And plug it into your PS3. Alright, now that you're back on your PS3, scroll up to your USB, which is located in Save Data Utility. Click on that, and copy the Grand Theft Auto 5 file to your PS3. Replace it. Click back, and it should successfully be replaced. Now start up your Grand Theft Auto game. Alright, so now that you're spawned in the game, you just want to go ahead and drive over to your garage to make sure that the NASCAR is there. Remember, I'm offline right now. You take that back, bitch. Okay, within your garage, you should be able to see this Sultan, or whatever car that you uh, chose to use. If it's there, it, the glitch should be working just fine. But to make sure... We're going to try and turn on uh, Nitrous, or NOS. Okay, so here's a nice straight road. In order to toggle Nitrous, you have to click L3 on your controller. So it's the same button as the horn one, but you don't have to hold it down, you just click it. So let's start driving. And it's working fine, because I can tell it's, it was making a hissing sound, and it was going really fast. So let's go back. That actually wasn't a very good road to use, but... Now you can see how fast it's going. So nitrous is in fact working. Okay. Make sure you bring this car back to your offline garage. Because if you don't, then you're going to lose the car. This is not like online, where your, your car respawns in your garage. You're going to lose it if you don't put it back. Okay, so it's inside the garage. Good. Now, what you're going to have to do 
is open up an invite only session online. Now, from now on, it's going to be very uh, annoying. You're going to have to go uh, back and forth from online to offline, but you're going to have to deal with it. So click on invite only session. Okay, so now that you're in your invite only session, drive any car that you have out back into your garage. You can't have any car out. As well as that, while you're at it, uh, make sure that your player is on your last location. By doing that, hold down the select button and scroll all the way down, and it should say last location, not garage, last location. Uh, so yeah, go over to your car. Unfortunately, I already have the Nitrous car online, so you're going to have to bear with me and trust me that I am going to be using a different one. This does look a little bit different than the one I have offline, because I did customize it online. So, anyway, whatever car you have online, drive it back to your garage. I'm a pretty big noob with the map, so I have to set a waypoint to my garage. Alright, so I'm, go I'm approaching my garage and going in. Okay, now go ahead and exit the garage. Make sure you don't have any car out. Don't exit with a car. Now go find any random car from the street. Doesn't matter what it is. You can now drive to Los Santos Customs. Alright, now that you're by Los Santos Customs, just park your car in the lot. Don't go into Los Santos Customs just yet. Alright, now go back to story mode. Leave GTA Online. This whole entire step we're about to do is seems pretty useless, but it's just to make sure that you respawn back at Los Santos Customs without a car. Okay, so you can go back online now. Make sure you click invite only session, so you go back into that. Okay, so now that you're back in the invite only session, go find any random car. Well, I can't say any. Make sure it's a car that's not too expensive so that you can drive it into Los Santos Customs. So this works just fine. And of course, with my bad luck, this car is coincidentally wanted by Simeon, but uh, we're going to be entering Los Santos Customs, so my wanted level is going to go away. Once you're in Los Santos Customs, click Start and go to the PlayStation Store or Xbox Live Store. This is where you're uh, going to have to uh, use timing. So, uh, as you might know, when you're switching from online to offline or vice versa or from this to PlayStation Store, it, uh, it has a transition that exits with bubbles, pretty much. So, um, on the third bubble, exiting out into the PlayStation Store, you're going to have to click your PS button or Xbox uh, button, you know, the button in the middle of your controller, and sign out of your uh, online account. So let's click PlayStation Store. And I'm going to count out which uh, bubble is which. One, two, three. Now. Okay, so now we're on the third bubble. You just got to go and sign out. Okay, so you're signed out. It should say something like this. Okay, so now you have spawned as Franklin or whatever character you're using in your offline session. 
go drive to the NOS car that you put into your game inside your garage or that's offline alright so now that you're at your garage go in and get out your vehicle okay drive to Los Santos customs make sure you're going to the same Los Santos customs as you went to online I've never tried this in any Los Santos customs besides the one that I'm doing right now so I don't know if it's gonna work anywhere else honestly so just I suggest doing this one alright now that you're at Los Santos customs don't drive in but actually put uh, eh, kind of just go right into the entrance but don't drive in all the way so make sure you're going extra slow extra extra slow so that just about your front wheel is in like I am right now this is perfect just how it is now click start and go right to your invite only session first you gotta sign in though obviously okay so you can go back to your invite only session okay so you should have responded right by Los Santos customs or else you would have ruined the whole entire glitch okay and none of your cars should be out so now walk up here and you can see that your NOS car is right here so you can go ahead and get right into it okay so what I suggest doing is going straight in Um, you gotta repair it and put loss and theft protection so that it will be your your own car. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace a vehicle. Okay, so now it's yours. And, by, and the license plate's still sick. It's North Yankton, and it still says, Hello, YouTube, as I did before. Alright. So, uh, let's go find a straighter road now with less cars. And I'm going to toggle uh, NOS. I can hear that hissing sound. And you can see that it's going really fast. Again, that was a horrible road that I just chose, but so be it. So, let's just keep on going. Now you can see this car is going super fast, so yeah, NOS is in fact on. So yeah, go ahead and put it right into your garage. Again, we'd have to be doing a whole entire other glitch if you did, if you chose something like an adder or a uh, entity or whatever. This is just as good, trust me. So you could enter right into your garage as I'm doing right now. okay and you can see that it's right here again trust me this is not the same car that I was using in the beginning of the video you can see the difference okay that's the Sultan that I just got that's the Sultan RS that I already had okay that one doesn't even have a spoiler or you know whatever uh, this has my crew logo so yeah it worked completely fine and you can customize it as much as you would like it, co it works completely and it's le legit. I have not tried this within an actual race, but you can. that's up to you. You can go ahead and try that yourself. I think it probably works. I'm not positive, but if it does, then you're going to be winning a lot of races. What I do suggest doing is putting on uh, new, some new brakes on it, like uh, some more powerful brakes, because when, it's, when it has NOS on it and you try to stop, it, it's really slow at stopping because the car was going so fast, has so much momentum. One thing, do not ever put turbo on this car. Ever put, uh, do not ever put turbo on any NOS Never put car because it will get Plus rid of turbo is like 50 times slower than NOS, all right? So there wouldn't even be any reason to do that. So don't put turbo. You can do anything else besides turbo unless you want to get rid of your NOS, okay? So that was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, 
please leave a like, maybe subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but honestly, this took a lot. This video took pretty pretty large effort to do. Um, it was a pretty much a trial and error video, um, and it took a long time for me to make it and edit it. So, uh, thanks for watching again. I'm out.